Hi everyone. Um, and I don't need to do that bit. Um, first of all, apologies that the it sounds like a plane's taking off in the background. It's just my laptop's fan, and I need hands free for this, so I can't use my um, phone. But as part of my protocol, um, so there should be another video with what I do each day. And part of what I do each day is I have a phospholipid smoothie. Um, why? Well, um, so as part of having chronic fatigue, um, I don't know if you've read Mitochondria versus Hypochondria or something like that by Sarah Myhill. Um, talks about the fact that your mitochondria might not be functioning properly. Um, and also there's some sort of cell dysfunction there. So in order to help your cells to get as much energy as possible, um, cell membranes are made up of phospholipid bilayers and it's really good to give them the fuel that cells need to rebuild themselves. Um, so by consuming fats in the correct ratio, um, you then provide fuel in the easiest format for, them, for cells to then use to create healthy cells, basically. Um, so how to do that? Well, first of all, hang on, I've forgotten all the ingredients. Okay, I've got the ingredients now. Um, so first of all, you need a base, so something you're going to drink it with. Um, I like to use either almond milk or coconut milk. Um, choose one without sugar um, if you are trying to recover from an illness because sugar encourages inflammation. Um, so I use almond breeze, it's really lovely. Um, it doesn't have too many crazy additives either, or you can make your own and then that's better. So if you get a Nutribullet or Mine's a, what is mine? A Nutri, oh it's a magic bullet. Sounds like a weird sex toy, but anyway. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, and yeah, just think about how much you want to drink and add that to your mug. So that's, that's the base. And then I add a little bit of coconut yogurt um, just to give it a bit of extra taste. I like taste and let's face it, if you're going to eat this every day, you're going to have to enjoy it. I have this for breakfast to set me up for the day. Mmm, it's really tasty. Then, hemp oil. So, hemp oil is the oil to use. Don't try and substitute it for anything else. The reason being is hemp oil has the cor correct, pretty much actually, the correct ratio of omega-3, 6 and 9s to be able to support your cells. So you don't really want to be using anything else. And I know it's expensive, but it's worth it. And it's got a really lovely nutty taste. And I just use it to dress everything now because it's... I'm a bit addicted to hemp oil. And let's face it, hemp is the new black. Everything is all about hemp at the moment. Um, then just to support that, um, sunflower liquid lecithin. So natural phospholipids, and I think it says somewhere on here that, uh, yeah, the most abundant phospholipid in the cell membrane um, is phospholatidylcholine. Um, so you kind of want that if you're gonna be helping your cells. Um, I have picked the wrong bottle. I do have an open one somewhere. I've lost it. Anyway, it kind of looks like treacle when it comes out. So you think, oh, hang on. So you think it's going to be really, really tasty. It's not, but it's not like really foul tasting either. It's kind of, again, a sort of nutty flavour. Um, so it comes up like goop. There we go. And another tablespoon. Lovely. And then you want a little bit of coconut oil. Coconut oil contains omega-6s. And I have intestinal parasites. So I want coconut oil in everything. Ideally, you'd want it to be a bit more liquidised than that. And I end up with chunks of coconut fat in my mouth, which is a bit grim. So you might want to make it liquid if I just sort of deal with it, but not other people can do that. And then the final addition to the fat is... Avocado. So you don't want much. Um, it says a quarter of an avocado in the recipe, and um, I will direct you to the recipe at the bottom of this page. So yeah, I use a quarter of an avocado, scrape out the flesh. Lots of really good fats in there as well. Um, one of the things that Dr. Sarah Myhill talks about is the fact that um, fats are really good for you and suggests a paleo keto diet. Um, I can't do that because I've got issues with my thyroid and it makes my symptoms go crazy and makes me really ill. Um, so I'm doing a high plant, um, low carb, high fat diet, but I'm not getting into ketosis. 
Um, right then, so this by itself is going to taste pretty grim. So now it's adding things that are going to be nice. Now because it's morning, um, you, I'd like to think you would want something stimulating and also good for your um, circulation. So one of the things I add is, here we go, some cinnamon. So a good sprinkle of cinnamon and also cacao powder. And again, one of the things you might be lacking if you've got chronic fatigue or any other um, long-term illness is low on um, different vitamins and minerals. And cacao's got loads of really good stuff like potassium, magnesium. So I put a nice big teaspoon of that in. Um, and now it probably needs a bit of sweetening. It's already been sweetened a little bit with the yogurt, um, but low carb sweeteners, and their finest form, blueberries and raspberries. So they're not so high in fructose, um, so I can't have too much of that. Um, but they are tasty and they really sweeten up. And it goes really, really well with the chocolate. It's like eating a black forest gatto, or drinking it. So a handful, handful of blueberries, a handful of raspberries. And again, one every five a day. I've been trying to get, well at the moment, I think I'm getting 30 of my five a day in a day. Anyway. Um, and then finally, um, this might not apply to everyone, but with the diet that I'm following, um, because it's, it's low carb, high plants, um, I need to make sure I'm getting my protein in. And at the moment, just from what I'm eating, I'm getting so full. Um, and that's, again, another symptom of ME. Sometimes you just don't have an appetite. Um, that I'm not getting enough protein in my diet. So as part of this smoothie as well, I'm adding um, two heat teaspoons of pulsing pea protein. Um, and that just gives me a boost. So if I can't get protein the rest of the day, I know I've had a big dollop in the morning. So that there should be about almost 10 grams of protein. So there we go. So that's just to help as well. And, I, and you do, if you are healing from anything, you do need the extra protein to help your body rebuild itself. So. Yeah, fit the lid on, just about. And then, woo, nearly dropped my hemp oil. And then pop it in. Make sure the lid's on firmly. Scrush it down. <laughs> Once it's nicely watered, and if you've got one like me, it's already in a nice cup. Um, to add a little bit of extra nutrition, you don't have to do this. I like to add a big heap teaspoon of chia seeds, sometimes more. I always spill them. I'm going to say actually, I probably have two. Um, this is for added fibre. So, one of the things I've noticed, I've started green juicing. Um, I'm getting a bit constipated, and again, thyroid issue. Um, so getting as much fibre into your diet as possible is really, really helpful. So yeah, two teaspoons of chia, two heap teaspoons of flax. Give that a stir in. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Oh yeah. And then... Again, I really do apologise by the whirring in the background. I'm going to get my fans sorted out. Not tomorrow because it's bank holiday. And then, mm. now, if you are used to sweet things, this will probably taste foul. However, I gave up sugar in November last year. It's now May, so I, my taste buds have come back. So if you've not done that already, I recommend giving up sugar first. Um, and then your taste buds will start to be able to discern the more delicate flavours in life. Um, delicate, chocolate, nutty, with a hint of berry. It's quite, you get used to it, it's quite nice. And if anything, you can have more berries if you want, or if you're not doing the same diet as me, big dollop of maple syrup or honey would really bring this out. 
Um, and yeah, that's it. So my phospholipid smoothie for promoting healthy cell growth.